Welcome to a Punisher bonus video with guest dragoon Derek Barona. Yeah, the real one said he uh, he had something to do with something about uh, scotch and more scotch. I happen to know he's practically a teetotaler, but you could use some clean maybe if he's off the wagon. I could use some target practice. If the point is, we are dragging our ass through some uh, previously seen content, but in a whole new way. I'll pay anything. Speed running. Or just sort of shotgunning. We actually are going to have to be irresponsibly fast because the time limit for this is very, very tight. Yeah, it was uh, about three minutes, right? Yes, it was three minutes to break six different thugs with each a different form of interrogation. Oh, so we've got the four basic ones. Two of those are about to be down. Yeah, you have the the choke. This was the gun. Yeah, we got a punch and floor smash him as well. Then we got to get two special interrogations. If you remember this level, there's only two special interrogations. Why should I let you live? So here's one of them. No, really? You don't say. <laughs> we never got to see the actual kill with it last time. But if you've been watching the Uncensored Interrogations, then uh, you probably saw that one as well. Oh yeah, I saw it, and it was fun. <laughs> yeah, I like the Censored Interrogations, honestly, because they use the same filter as the uh, Slaughter Mode. Sort of suggests that the, they're both forms of Frank Castle losing touch with the reality and really becoming the Punisher. But of course, the uncensored interrogations are very detailed and gruesome. Yep. Can't miss them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like I said, you gotta be fast as fuck. No kidding, there's just no screwing around with this. Yeah, this honestly took a lot of effort. And without a certain trick, this is impossible. In fact, a lot of these challenges have a very specific trick to them, and if you fail to find that trick out, you literally cannot beat them. You picked the wrong crowd house to go get it high in, asshole. Verily. So here's the trick. You gotta go into slaughter mode and use the leap. That lets you cover ground much, much faster than by running. Wow. Frank's yep. armor has just gotten serious. <laughs> yeah, this is not hard difficulty, and uh, bullets have no effect whatsoever. <laughs> Actually, if I remember correctly, they almost didn't have an effect whatsoever even before. Very true. The difficulty game is... the difficulty curve is absolutely bizarre. Like, Damage. this first level is almost impossible to lose. Go Same with the second, me. third, even the fourth a little bit. <laughs> then they get I ridiculously hard. But hey, we did it. And that was it. Yep. Six, they go by fast. Six thugs, three minutes. And very apartment. many people left to rot along the way. Indeed. Chop shops many innocents. We don't have time to save them. Kinds. I'm taking a particular interest in this one. Now we gotta do six Carter different things once again. Red. This time it's use different objects to kill people. We've got half as much time to do it. Eesh. Yeah. Weapon kills are pretty slow too. <laughs> oh! That was some manhunt level shit right there. I believe that's exactly what Kaboom Dragoon said when we did that. Yeah, in the like... main game. But there's just no arguing it. It's the perfect way to describe it. I gotta be it honest. Some manhunt shit. Pretty much, like, I think I said it in the thread at the time, but my favorite manhunt kill would, hey, was yo. definitely the the crowbar. <laughs> there's four. <laughs> oh yeah. Even if that doesn't count, it's just obligatory to do that. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't count. It would make this challenge a lot easier if it did. Yeah. But yeah, the crowbar was probably my favorite weapon in Manhunt when I originally played it back in 2003. Just the, so, just the throat shank with it. Like, that mm -hmm. was just the best one. Yeah, it's so fast and brutal and realistic, the crowbar. Some of the other ones get a little over the top, but never that one. Now, an interesting thing is I dove into that guy while in slaughter mode, and Frank ripped him apart with knives. Just automatically. That's actually sounds like a pretty good trick to try later on. Yeah, I didn't know that was a feature, but I'm going to be definitely doing it more often now. 
So, we've used all five different weapons. Now we gotta snipe down the engine. <laughs> I was really hoping killing them with the engine or the car was was something that they counted, so yeah. I'm happy about that. That's the trick for this one. It's a shop, weapon shop, that shop, uh, shop you can't like carry, but it kinds. still counts. I'm taking a particular interest. And again, in the timing is ridiculously car. tight. So Lucky's Bar is a two-minute long level, so it has no death. challenge so mode for it. Bushwhacker kidnapped my neighbor Joan. I oh, the Central, Central Zoo. Zoo! Jesus Christ, this is a speed run. <laughs> yes, we have to be very fast, but the hard mode stipulation is no big deal. And honestly, I completed this challenge my first time trying it. Which is very, very unlike all the other challenges in this game. Most of them are extremely difficult. Take me a very long time to figure out. Well, this is also, like, if you actually stop and fight everyone, this is a really long level at the time of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was our first one to break 40 minutes. We've only got to do the last section with uh, no loading screen, so... That speeds things up. I would hope so. Yeah. Ah, uh, Bushwhacker. I kind of miss him, honestly. Yeah, he's actually one of the more likable villains in the game. Very uh, imposing, the way they set him up and run him against Frank. It's very much the way the comic books handle uh, people who go up against Frank Castle. Well, it's just... Bullseye was so, so wasted. Yeah, indeed. Like, I don't know a whole lot about Bullseye, aside from... Uh, what I saw in the Daredevil movie and what I know from hearsay when talking to Dragoon. But it just, like, I'm sorry, I love Steve Bloom, but he was not the right casting for that character. Yeah, no kidding. It was basically obligatory. They were like, oh, we gotta put Steve Bloom as something. Yeah, but then he came back in, like, 40 seconds later as Murdoch. <laughs> yep. For the most part, I honestly am glad that I played this game before I read the comic, specifically Welcome Back Frank, which this is heavily based on, because it did such a good job giving the characters voices, so I was able to sort of read it in their voices. Yeah. The exceptions to that being Joan, and uh, really that's it, because uh, Bullseye is not in the comics. Are they all dead? What about Bushwhacker? But yeah, Joan... That's not what she would sound like in the comics. Are they all dead? Yeah. I'm such a girl. I sort of guessed that um, they had you go into that closet to uh, lower her so that they didn't have to animate it. And then I looked at it during this recording, and they did animate it. Oh, wow. So so I shampoo. underestimated them for some reason. Once again, this game continues to impress. They cut no corners here. Which, really, that's, that's the one you would expect them to cut. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, jeez, this challenge. This is not yeah, going to be fun, I assume you it? read it. This one is a nightmare. Yeah. We got to kill Eddie Nucci with only headshots. So that was not a headshot. We failed. <laughs> <laughs> Does it at least start you at the fight? Yes. Oh, th thank God. It does start you right at the bottom of the stairs. So what I always do is I go out and I get to exactly the point where it spawns in the Nucci thugs. Then I get myself a better gun. Nice automatic. Much better gun. At least yeah. ammo for a much better gun. Then we gotta find a way to get Eddie Nucci caught in a loop. We did that during the main run, and it was up in that uh, attic area. Of course, we need more ammo first. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, even for being a thug, he basically eats bullets for breakfast. Like crazy. It's going to take a lot of headshots. And if we miss one headshot and get a body shot, it was all for naught. But he stays up here. Don't screw with the Nucci's. Gets kind of lost. Speaking of bad voice direction, what were they going for with Eddie? <laughs> They were going for a one-off character that barely had any lines in the game. You can't aim with this shit. 
You can't act either. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Like bad casting or voice direction aside, there's nothing wrong with people who actually do voice acting. Yeah, no kidding. In fact, video game voice acting is notoriously difficult. Yeah. Thomas Jane said that he hated doing it for this game, even though he did a phenomenal job. I remember um, I was at a con one time, and uh, I was actually in a Q&A with Johnny Young Bosch. Um, he's in a bunch of anime, you know, he was the Black Power Ranger back yep. then. He's in his own band. That's stampede. You know, you can't run across a, a JRPG made during the last 10 years that doesn't have him somewhere. Trust me, I've got most of them. Yeah, he's nearly as ubiquitous as Steve Bloom these days. Pretty much. Him and, uh, him and Yuri Lowenthal were, for the longest time, the two voices you heard everywhere. <laughs> but he actually said during that Q&A, I asked him, you know, he's in a lot of video games, is that any different? And he... He did make a point of noting it's a lot harder because you know, even in a, like a like Bleach or whatever, you're you know you're screaming, you're doing the lines and everything, but there's not as much uh, just grunting, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that's exactly what Billy West said. He said the hardest job he ever had was doing the voice work for the Futurama video game, which no one played. <laughs> well, that's. That part happened for its own reasons, unfortunately. Indeed. But yeah, all the uh, voice work you have to do for getting hit and all the incidental occasions that they have to plan for. Yeah. Um, it's a ton of work. Really, really hard on your voice. Yeah, especially if you're doing like a, a throaty kind of character. Yep. And the obligatory diving down the stairs shot. <laughs> Love doing that. Also, yes, I totally agree with Dragoon. Tossing somebody the weapon and then killing them while they have it in their hand is the best way. Yep. Very inventive, very Frank Castle move. It really is. Now here's something we didn't see Freddy Nucci do, or Eddie Nucci. It's, uh, he has flashbangs. Oh. Infinite flashbangs, for that matter. He also has the worst situational awareness to ever have for a Punisher villain. Yeah, no kidding. That's that's right up there with the guy that was on the phone and was just like, I have to go now, Mike. <laughs> uh, now, I've learned to keep the crosshairs a specific distance above his head. Because there's a spread with the bullets, and uh, if your crosshairs are too low, the spread will hit him in the chest. And he does kind of run into it, too. Yeah. Which uh, throws off your aim, and he can sometimes run into a body shot. I failed this like a thousand times. I thought it was impossible for quite a while. It certainly looks ridiculous. Yeah, it's unfathomable. But I managed it. Twice, in fact. Oh, hey, In a practice run. Yep. That was me taking a celebratory breather. <laughs> There was there was lots of cursing at your TV, I'm sure. Oh, oh yeah. Be there. Although that, no I actually recorded that consecutively. The uh, failed run where I shot the get, shot him in the chest. The that happened immediately before the successful run you she just saw. In all her oh, nice. With no runs preceding it. Fewer wasted bullets. But I had a lot of practice beforehand. Let's kill every enemy within four and a half minutes. Is that what it is? And if you'll note, that is 63 enemies we have to kill. Well, at least they have the courtesy to give you a counter. Mm -hmm. And there are tricks to this one as well. I'm In fact, sure. the last one is the only one that didn't have any tricks to it. Yeah, that was, was just hoping there were tricks suffer, to it. suffer more. Yeah. Oh, I, I would be very surprised if you don't have to rely on grenades during this one. There are no grenades here, just flashbangs. Oh! Oh my. I'm still going to rely on him, but uh, <laughs> real grenades would have made life a lot easier. Because they do start grouping up in huge one? groups later on. But we do have to do this interrogation because he gives us a key that we need to uh, use to get two guys who are hiding behind a locked door. Oh. Yep. That line indicates that we've killed absolutely everyone in this area. 
It's actually pretty useful that they have those lines so you don't miss anybody. Yeah, because then otherwise you'd just be like, you know, where's the last guy? And there is no last guy. Yeah, exactly. There is only you, Frank. But the next area is where things get actually really difficult. And the line for it is glitched and will go off regardless of whether or not you kill everybody. So those are the guys we needed to uh, get the interrogation to kill. And, <laughs> and that guy screams like a girl. Yeah. Now, if you'll notice, our gun has the barrel clip, same as the machine pistols. Oh, yeah, from the ammo upgrade, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't get to show that off in the main game. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing challenge mode, is to show off things that I won't have the means to show off in the main game, just for reasons of continuity. Frank went back in time to kill that crack house over and over again. <laughs> it's it's like a holiday to him. Yeah. Oh, we got the uh, railing kill animation there. I didn't even notice it. I looked away from it, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but if you shoot a guy in the gut when he's standing on a railing, he will sometimes flip over it. That's too bad. I really wanted to catch that on camera, and I barely did. Yeah, I admit I didn't even notice it until you said something. <laughs> and I didn't notice it until this very viewing. Oh, well, I'll try and get a better shot of it later. So one of the tricks I use to save time is I try to never, ever reload. I've had to reload this gun a few times just because it's really useful and it has a huge clip. But uh, when it empties out, I'm going to have to switch to another gun and use that instead. That's, uh, that's a fairly economical way to do things. Yeah, because even with four and a half minutes, that is a very, very tight time limit. Oh, this is just Christmas for Frank. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Now the problem is, people will take cover inside the rooms, and then get lost. And then you gotta go find them, and if you don't, they don't get killed. Like this guy. Oh yeah, I was wondering where he went. Mm-hmm. 15 kills to go in just under, well, 14 in about 45 seconds. Yeah. Harder than it looks. Well, it's only harder than it looks if they're hiding. Yeah. There's a surprising amount of ground to cover, and this area here, there's a bunch behind the uh, grating there, and that gives them more cover than I like. It takes them a little longer to kill. That's time that I need. I did like that guy flailing around with the knife sticking out of him, though. <laughs> yep. Pretty much the only useful effect of the knives in the later gangs. Because they take too many knives to kill. But oh, Nuji's are still weak. That was close. Oh yeah, zero seconds left. That one I failed a lot as well, because it's really, really hard. I'm kind of... Guys will just slip through the cracks. Yeah, uh, I could tell. I'm kind of glad that uh, you didn't have to kill Ma during that. That would have yeah. been, been funny, but... Yep. And bushwhackers in the, between them as well. Wants revenge for Bobby's death yeah. She had bushwhacker kidnap my neighbor. Now John. we're done with the challenges for this video, so we're gonna check out punishment mode. Oh, what's this one? Uh, was it like survival mode, basically? Yeah, basically. What we have to do is get a certain number of points, and then we win. Okay. The guys are gonna spawn in infinitely, and we're gonna keep killing them. This is not the uh, not the level I would pick for an arena fight, though. Nah, this one in particular is not very good, and that is considering that most of the punishment mode uh, challenges are not very good to begin with. I won't be showing any more of them off. This is just here, sort of, as an example. This is what punishment mode is, and why we won't be seeing more of it. Where is he? I don't see him. Do you see him? No, I see a bullet. <laughs> Although they do automatically spawn in aware of our position, which uh, is unfair. Yeah, that's kind of crap. I mean, it, it helps, though, because it means they're firing at you, so now you know where they are. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, 
in a gunfight, bullets attract bullets. And in this case, they don't want bullets attracted to them. Not especially, because they're horrible shots. And we've got nothing but headshots so far. Well, almost nothing but headshots. <laughs> 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 oh, that, that guy just... He just did not... Uh... Yeah, they won't spawn guys on top of you, and I'm standing on a spawn point. But I want people to spawn very, very close to me, so sometimes I'll step a few spots forward just to let the guy spawn in behind me and then kill him. He realizes he's standing directly next to the puncher and it's just like, well, my life is <laughs> over now. Yep. Now, I think we're on the second or third wave at this point. Each kill in uh, successive waves is worth more points. So by like the fifth or sixth wave, I think quick kills end up being worth like 400 points. Oh wow. Yeah. So you start getting those as part of a combo and you can rack up some really, really high scores. You just gotta get shot a couple hundred times along the way. Yeah, that's the risk. And really you can't afford to get shot ever because it breaks your combo. And combo is what gives you all your points. Yeah. Yeah. For example, we haven't been shot at all so far, so we've got a very, very high combo. There, I did the little make the guy spawn in trick again. Spawned him in so close, even the camera was like, no, I am not turning around for that guy. <laughs> Let no one know of his suffering. Now, the problem here is that we eventually run out of ammo just sniping all day. So when you get to phase four, here it comes. Comes pretty bad. Yeah. And there's the hit. Yep. Enemies start dealing a lot more damage. They have much, much higher HP in successive waves. Just gets generally harder. Eventually you will lose no matter how upgraded you are. That's a nice thing. It does keep all of your upgrades from the main game. And they're pretty much essential to beating these. Like, you can't do this the second you unlock them. You need a higher upgrade. Yeah, because this is like... Ouch. Yeah, you just get butchered as soon as you hit the ground floor. But we just barely made the 12,000 point requirement. And that's the end of punishment mode. Yay, and we will never go back to it. Nay. But that was our first round of challenges. There interesting I want revenge for Bobby's death. trying to make the best of them <laughs> you hesitated I heard it yes indeed but uh, we'll be seeing more challenges at a later date thank you for joining me Derek Barona yeah, it's always a pleasure to watch brutal murder wherever it may yes. be <laughs> creative murder best kind <laughs>